The National Cancer Research Institute conference is unique in that it covers the whole spectrum of cancer research, both in terms of the research path, so from basic research right through to translational, clinical and implementation science and policy, but also the fact that it covers the whole spectrum of the patient journey as well, from prevention, early diagnosis, to treatment, to supportive palliative and end of life care. So in effect, it's quite hard to pull out any one individual area because what we try to do is cover the whole spectrum of cancer research to ensure that there is cross-fertilization and interaction and collaboration across that spectrum. So there are some particularly interesting things at this year's conference in terms of thinking about some of the areas that we have, um, that we're working in at NCRI that we feel are of, of importance and that we're doing some work in. So things around molecular pathology. So we have some activities in molecular pathology. It's a really important area for stratified medicine, developing new techniques for diagnosis and monitoring disease. And there are some sessions within the program looking at that as well, looking at the research, the innovation that's happening in this area. We've got a partnership this year with BASO, the Association of Surgical Oncology, bringing them into this conference. They're running their annual scientific meeting in conjunction. Again, surgery research is an area we're doing some work in to try and boost research activity, a very important treatment option for cancer patients. We also work very much at NCRI with consumers, people who are affected by cancer. We've got some sessions where we have a dragon's den where, um, where consumers interact with researchers, researchers can pitch their proposals, get feedback from the consumers of how those might be perceived, how they can improve them to ensure that they will get patient involvement in those. And then other areas that we are um, working again in radiotherapy, we have an initiative, CTRAD, trying to boost radiotherapy research capacity. It's a very successful initiative. We have a partnership with the Royal College of Radiologists. So across the spectrum, we've got um, activities and many of those relate to initiatives that we're running at NCRI as well.